I got a question for you. Have you ever had butter from another part of the cow? <laughs> Hey, I'm Andrew, and today we're gonna to wreck a BMCB. Some of you might be asking, what's a BMCB? Well, I'm glad you asked. BMCB is bone marrow compound butter. One of the favorite things that you've just discovered, or maybe you already knew about, that goes straight on top of your fresh cooked favorite cut of steak. So here's what you're gonna to need to follow along if you'd like to cook this too. I have a couple of different size skillets, a large and a small, I have a fresh sprig of rosemary from the backyard, have some olive oil, some pink salt, some large flake salt, a little mortar and pestle, some fresh garlic. I have a cup of butter. And the main star of this event today is the bone marrow. Now you'll see that I've actually cut it into two different styles. I've cut these sections into little two inch cross cuts. And then this section here to show a variation because you can do it either style. This is actually cut 90 degrees through the bone, exposing all the marrow. You can see that these rings here represent this kind of like a yellowy or a lighter creamy color. There's a very creamy product. The marrow is the middle part of the bone and um, it's where, this is the butter. This is right, this here is where we're gonna get all the magic today. We're gonna get a whole lot of flavor blowing up in your mouth as you put it all over your steak. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Watch and follow along, let's get started. Let's make some magic happen in the kitchen. Okay, so one of the first things that you wanna do once you have all of your ingredients and your utensils assembled is to make sure that your oven is on 500 degrees convection broil if you have that availability. If you're in other countries that may have different style ovens, it'll be a convection grill. If you don't have convection, just use grill, uh, but that will work. So let's take on the star of the show. Let's bring our bone marrow center stage here. We're gonna add the bone marrow to the main skillet. The oven is on, it's coming up to temperature, and we are gonna add these pretty pieces of artwork into our skillet. Now, what I wanna do not everyone does this, but I like to just take things up a notch. I want maximum return, ROI on flavor. I want some flavor ROI. Okay, so we're gonna start to throw some olive oil here and we're gonna get this lathered. Not too crazy because there's actually gonna be a lot of oils coming out of the bone marrow. And so what I'm gonna do is I just wanna make sure every part of the bone and you can see the marrow that's getting soft. Now, I don't take all of the sections of, of meat that are still on the outside of the bone off. Some people do. And here's why I like to keep mine on. Um, I like, as this begins to cook and roast in the oven, I want all of the flavor of that meat coming out and caramelizing and flavoring the marrow so we get undertones and hints of all of that steaky, meaty, beefy goodness. So once we're there, I'm just gonna remove this little skillet out the road and we're gonna take some of this fresh rosemary and I'm going to remove the little leaves off the rosemary sprig because I don't wanna be chewing on bits of twig. And one of the ways you can do is you just go against the grain with your fingers. I don't want a whole bunch right now. So I'm just going to take the small amount of rosemary that I have here. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cross cut it because I want this relatively fine. You can see it's already relatively dry. I don't need a lot. I'm going to use a, a, uh, some of this rosemary a little bit later when we start to see. I'm just start. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. That beautiful contrast of that green starting to grace its presence over the top of that bone and marrow. This is going to be roasting in a little bit. And as it does, the aromatic flavors and scents of that rosemary is going to start to permeate through the bone. What we're going to do right now is we're adding some Himalayan pink salt. I personally like to get a lot of salt on because it just adds, salt has this amazing ability to bring flavor out and make it look real good. It just finds all the flavors in the product that you're working with, in this case, 
uh, beef bone marrow and it's going to bring those flavors out and help them find center stage so that they find themselves in your mouth. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of flaky salt as well. Now, if you want to take a look at that, this is going to be going straight into the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to be caramelized. It's going to start to express itself. All of this bone marrow is going to start to melt. Now there's still going to be chunks in there, but let's take a look and see what it looks like when it comes out. We'll be back in a second. Okay, now we come to the second part. While the bone marrow is roasting for the next 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the bone and the cut you have, uh, we're going to start with the base for the compound uh, right here. So we want to take some rosemary, we're going to take some garlic, we're going to take a little bit of our butter that's come up to room temperature, it's nice and soft, a little bit of olive oil and some of our salts again. So we're going to begin to remove again like we did in the first part, a little bit of rosemary, we don't need a ton, just enough to get those aromatic flavors moving around in the skillet. And we're going to take, I'm gonna put those off to the side for a second. We're going to take some garlic. I like getting my thumb right in there. We're gonna extract two, three cloves. So I'm simply going to take my blade. I like to crush them because when you crush them, you actually release a lot of the flavor and juices that come out of the garlic. So then we're gonna take the rosemary. We wanna get these down to a relatively fine size. So I'm just gonna put that rosemary in the pan. We are now going to crush a second crushing. All that garlic, we want to get it nice and fine as possible. This is all the garlic we're going to use. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our olive oil. We're going to put just enough across the pan where it's going to be given some room to move. We're going to take a tablespoon that's going to go into the pan and a little bit of each of my selected salts here. Now, I'm now going to put this over heat and begin to caramelize the garlic. So what we want is we want this garlic to cook just to take a little bit of the edge off. And we only are gonna keep it on this heat and when we start seeing a very slight brown color, caramelizing, releasing all the sugars. You can see there is actually brown starting to come through. Okay, so you see how the color has now changed? That's all I want. So I'm now taking it off. I'm going to take care of this. That's now off. And that is exactly where I want this to be. So I don't want it any more than that. We're just going to let that rest. You don't, want to, you don't want to ever see black. If it starts going black, you've burnt it and you're going to start getting a bit of flavor coming out of the garlic. So we're going to let that cool off and then all of this butter is going to be added into that. And then all the bone marrow is going to be added in. We're going to mix it up and it's just going to be magical wonderland. So we can see by all of this fatty, buttery oil, that's all come out of the marrow inside these bone sections. And so that's part of our butter, but there's also still a whole bunch of buttery, creamy solids that are in all of these bones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these cool down and just come get a little closer to, to room temperature. You can see this is our caramelized uh, rosemary and garlic with some salt, butter, and oil. See how that just comes all the way through? all that buttery, oil, creamy. I like to use a chopstick, it just seems to work. This is just going to remove itself straight from the bone. So you can see you've got a very creamy, gelatinous, buttery. This is why it got the name butter. You see, so 
we're going to keep all that, we're going to preserve that, that's going to go into our mixture. So we're going to bring our bowl in, center stage, we're going to tip a little bit of that out, probably half of it. start to mix this in very slowly. You can see that's starting to come together now. And I'm going to bring this up. I need to hold it in such a way where everyone can see that we are collecting all of that gelatinous bone marrow. We want to just make sure that we are getting all of our little lumps nice and bolstered. Okay, so so now we're going to bring this back into set. Just bone marrow out. And then I'm going to okay, we're just going to assimilate that in. creamy fatty texture just starting to merge with all the standard butter and it's slowly cooling down and starting to thicken up look at all those chunks of garlicky rosemary goodness essentially is make like a sausage of this butter and make it into like a little roll. This is perfect. See what's happening here people? This is a perfect execution. Okay. 
and there's your final product. You see now it's, it's a lot harder. It's actually, you know, got some rigidity now that it's cold. I'm gonna let it cool completely overnight before we use it. Uh, but once it's ready, you can unwrap all of the cling wrap, the plastic cling wrap, and you slice it into little medallions right before you're ready to use it on a steak. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button. And you know what? How could you not want to see this butter being used? Look at all the pieces of garlic, rosemary. We know there's all the bone marrow in there, the salt and the garnishings. Everything that's in there, this is a flavor explosion getting ready to happen. Next week, we're dropping the video where we put this on a hot steak fresh off the grill with some crispy fried potatoes that were fried in the bone marrow. So you can't miss this. It's a double whammy bone marrow special. Make sure you hit the notification button. We'll see you next week. If you're watching this down the track, there'll be a link in the description. Take care. Have a great week. God bless.